How to Set Build Name and Description in Jenkins. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.452.3. Let's assume for a moment that we want to change the name of a build and its description once it's completed. Now, if we take a look at test job number one, we can see that we've had one job run here. That's build number four and it was ran on July 23rd, 2024. But let's say we wanted to rename the number four to a name and we also wanted to add a description. Well, how do we do that? We can do that using the Jenkins CLI. Now, if you've never used the Jenkins CLI before, there's a link to a video about how to use the Jenkins CLI down in the description. So let's go over and take a look at what commands we need to run. We'll go to dashboard, manage Jenkins. Let's go down to Jenkins CLI. And there's two commands we're gonna take a look at. The two commands are set build display name and set build description. Let's take a look at set build display name first. So what we're gonna do, Java dash jar, Jenkins CLI jar, set build display name, the job, the build number, and then we're gonna add in the display name. So if we take a look at the arguments, pretty straightforward, job, the name of the job, build number, the number of the build, and also the display name to be set. Now, if we wanted to, we could read it in from standard in, but I'm just gonna go ahead and hard code in what I want my display name to be. So let's go ahead and paste in the command that we're gonna run, Java dash jar, Jenkins CLI jar, set build display name, the name of the job, test job one in our case, the build number, that was build number four, and then we're just gonna set the value in quotes, this is the display name. So let's go ahead and hit enter. If we go back over into the job and click into test job one, what we're gonna see is this is the display name now replaces build number four, or just the number four that was listed before. Also notice one other thing. When we take a look at our dashboard, we can also see the display name listed under last success because that was the last job that ran. Now, how do we set the description? Again, very similar to the display name. We'll go back over to Manage Jenkins. Jenkins CLI, we'll go back down to Set Build Description. And again, very similar. The name of the job, the build number, and the description to be set. Now, we could also read in from standard in again if we wanted to, but again, I'm going to set the value myself on the command line. Now, here's the key part to this. What is the build number? Remember, we just changed the display name a moment ago. So it looks like this might be the build number, but that's not really true. If we go into test job number one, I'm gonna click on the checkbox just to see the console log. If we take a look up in the URL, we can still see job number four is there. When we run the set build description, then we'll pass in four for that. So let's go ahead and go back over to our console, paste in the command, set build description, test job one, four, this is the build description. Let's go ahead and hit enter. Now that that completed, let's go ahead and click on test job one. We'll notice here that this is the build description shows up under this is the display name. So that's how you go ahead and set both the display name and the description for a build. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on X at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button and ring that bell and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.